We take the original CAD file for the DARPA DMA sphere and we slice it into layers. We then stack these layers on top of each other in the Z direction and you see that thousands of layers together form spheres. We then take the file that we've created and input it into the RCAM A2 machine. Once the file is loaded, we actually go and place powder, in this case it's titanium 6-aluminum 4-vanadium powder, into the hoppers in the machine and load the powder into the machine. We shut the door and we pull down to vacuum. We then spread the powder into a thin layer of material and preheat. We then go through and center the powder exactly where the CAD file states. We repeat the process over and over again for each layer that we've created in our file and we build up spheres. Once the spheres are created, we allow it to cool before we open the machine. Once the machine is cooled, we pull the material out of the system. We then take it into a powder recovery system. In this system, you can see that we're, we blast off all the excess material and are left with the uh, nine spheres that we've created for the DARPA challenge.